are now in week two of reopening the state. In that time, Cole County has added three new cases of COVID-19. We're now joined by Jefferson City Mayor Carrie Turgeon, who's live with us. Mayor, thank you for being here. What is the latest news that you've heard from the Jefferson City and Cole County Health Department? We're working very closely with the health department and they have put out some great recommended guidance for businesses, for whatever you may be in, whether it's groups or sports or whatever they have on the website at colehealth.org, a great list of recommended guidelines. So we are working through that and just asking everybody to be familiar and follow those safeguards to put those in place. And Mayor Turgeon, the statewide order that expires at the end of the month on May 31st to match up with the states, what criteria need to continue to make sure that that uh, continues to be that way or if any new adjustments have to be made? Well, we're watching things very closely and we just ask that everybody continue to do their part, that they continue to keep distancing and keep washing their hands. If they're sick, stay home, those kind of things. And really here in Cole County, people are doing their part. And we've been able to ease into these guidelines because for several weeks now, we've offered most businesses to at least be able to operate uh, in, a, in a manner that is contactless. So offering things like delivery and really finding ways that they can still operate while not having uh, contact with people in ways that maybe they hadn't thought of before. So people are taking extra precautions, businesses are taking extra, extra precautions. So we're very thankful and we want to just ask everyone to continue to do their part. Mayor, obviously we are in now a sort of rolled back version of what the order was throughout April and throughout most of March. Have, has the city fielded any complaints? How did that time period go when there was a, it was a bit stricter in the county? How did that go as far as complaints? And uh, are there still any outstanding complaints out there against businesses or, or hospitals or any sort of institutions that the city or county is looking into? I'm really not aware of complaints. People have worked very well together. And I think really the key has just been education and communication. And we've really had that here with our Cole County Health Department, with all of our agencies working together. Uh, we work in very close contact and make sure that message gets out. And since we were allowing most businesses to still offer things like their curbside delivering contactless, contactless services, we found that that transition has been extremely smooth. So again, we just ask everybody to continue to be very diligent, but also respecting others. And I think people really have been very respectful of, of their neighbors and realizing that their actions do directly affect and impact those around them. So we have found very good compliance here in Cole County and very little complaints, to be honest. That is some good news. Uh, you know, summer's just around the corner here, and some people are going to be wondering about some of the different activities that are offered in Jefferson City and Cole County during the summertime. Have What kind of discussions have been made when it comes to the fair and things like that? Uh, we are having those discussions very closely with the Cole County Health Department. In fact, we're working on the July 4th celebration, which is still planned at this time. We think around June 1st, we'll make a final decision if that has to be changed but we're talking to them about what can be done. For example, adding extra hand washing stations, finding ways to have more distancing, uh, whether it's during the parade for 4th of July or the event. So what are things that we can do? Are there things that can be eliminated so that we would have the most uh, safety for people who do attend? So we don't want to have to cancel those kind of events, but if everybody does their part now, and continues to limit the spread. Hopefully, as summer comes through, we'll be able to still hold those events. But those decisions are still being made. What can we do to keep them as safe as possible? Mayor Carrie Turgeon, thank you very much for the time. Thank you.